great. Nice to meet you. Honey, y'all can Where are you from, honey? Uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. We were just talking about that. Good town. Yeah, born and raised. Great town. To do anything creative, but music-wise, it's a great town, man. A lot of history. Where'd Fillmore. You where'd you, where'd you yeah, start? Yeah, right. Yeah. What club? Did you start any clubs there? Yeah, I was playing um, Cafe du Nord. I think that was the first That's one. That's been around I a while, right? Yeah, Hemlock Tavern. Uh -huh. It's like one of my. Yeah. That was like the bar I used to go to when I wasn't 21. And I had a little <laughs> tiny, tiny uh, stage in the back. I think it's like 60 people or something. Right, like wow. So now I was playing you, there quite a bit. How about uh, Carlos Santana, a guy you love from. He's a Frisco yeah. guy, right? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, I don't know, it's just a, a unique place. What, um, I mean, that's hardcore. What, what kind of, is that hard rock you're playing? Like, what, what do you consider what you play? I don't know. Or can't even label it. I guess it's just rock and roll music. Right, I roll. saw that you referred to it as knife fight music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got that feeling. I think yeah. that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's I think it's a, an apt description. I mean, like if it, you got to call it something, right? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I, the, it feels it feels. Uh, well, considering in the '80s it was beat it by Michael Jackson. That was the. <laughs> yeah. No. Gone, that, I, I so like this, this is way a departure, better. huh? I like yeah. this better. No, <laughs> that was a pretty tough riff when they were knife fighting in that Eddie video. Van Hill. Yeah. Eddie Van Hill. Yeah. No, I, it, it feels kind of like White Stripes esque sometimes. Like the the way that things you've got the dynamics and the changes and the. You know, it's pretty aggressive and, and tough sound. It's in your face. I like it. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. <laughs> it's you always know. in my face for some reason. <laughs> How long you guys been together for? Um, you know, the we got two new members over there on the left. Okay. What's up, guys? And then we got um, Hayden on the right. He's been with me for a couple of years. Are they all um, San Francisco guys? No, actually, uh, I met them all in L.A. All right. Yeah. And that's how we live now? I live there now. What's the yeah. band scene like in L.A. now? I, I, you know, lived there from 95 to 01, and I can remember, you know, seeing some pretty cool bands on the it's, strip here and there. It's cool. It's it's thriving. It's really young. A lot of Is it new thriving? bands. Yeah, yeah, like tons of new bands every single day. There's what are bands. the new clubs? That be, I mean, it's like the Viper Room still have bands? They and, do, but the, the places where the bands are playing mostly are kind of like the Echo or um, uh -huh. the old Spaceland. It's, I think it's called Satellite now, but... Right. Um... That go quite a bit. That's where a lot of people are playing. Where is that? That's in um, Silver Lake on... Oh, um, uh, okay. Or like, yeah, I guess it is Silver Lake. Uh, there's, a, there's an Echo Park, too, right? I mean... Yeah, there's an Echo yeah, Park, a, too. Well, they, they, I mean, that's a cool part of town. It's always been like a, kind of a, a cool area to see anything. Definitely. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I, it's, it's, it's rare nowadays to hear guys who can play instruments really well... You know, and it's not like in front of some laptop. And it's great to go see live music that's good from younger people. Like, you know, I, I'm an old guy. I've, you know, I've been around 45 years old. I still, you know, classic rock I'm a fan of. But I got to admit, it's more fun hearing a young band. It's just something yeah. about it, you know. There's something weird going on with rock music where there's so many digital backing tracks, computers behind the stage. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were at a festival, um, and we were watching this band. I forget the name of it, but a big band, like, Real big band, and and they had a guy sitting behind the amps playing guitar. <laughs> oh, they did <laughs> seriously <laughs> hiding behind the stage. That's no, unreal. like a Cyrano de Bergerac guitar player. It was wild. I yeah. was just like, what? Why is that? Like, what's the? Why not just show it's like that just, guy? Like, just put him on the stage. Then, yeah, you know, it doesn't make any sense. It's like a comic having a guy telling jokes and just mouth yeah. work. Guitar syncing. Now, how well are you guys getting laid on the road? Is it still just as good? It's pretty good, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? I mean, you know, yeah. when that dries up, you'll let, that rock and roll will end. I mean, go look at the rhythm section over there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys seem to you seem to know what you're doing. <laughs> Hey, are, you, are you guys married and stuff like that? No. Not good for you. Yeah. You don't uh, want to do that. The uh, Your last album was produced by Dan Auerbach, right? Yeah. Had, from the Black Keys. Yeah. Uh, how did you how did you run into him? How did um, that ever materialize? I, I ran into him at a bar in Paris. I was uh, playing records um, after one of my gigs, and a um, friend of... In a, Paris. Yeah, a mutual friend friend of ours introduced us. And I don't know, we just started talking about music and drinking whiskey and then, I don't know, stayed in touch. And, you know, that's I pretty great. A few months down the line, we started talking about recording and this and that. Does Paris wow. still have a good vibe to it that it's always had, like, uh, for bands, American bands? Uh, they, they, they welcome us over yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. They love, like, rock music still, guitar-based music. You yeah. Know. Yeah, I mean, they love so a lot of American yeah. art. They yeah. do. Uh, I was just there last year. I got arrested there. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah, I got into an <laughs> argument with my girlfriend. It's a long story. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, I, uh, uh, Parisian jail. I was in a Parisian jail. <laughs> I was screaming at these uh, guys who turned out to be uh, cops. And I thought they were just bouncers with this club. They dress in plain clothes sometimes. Yeah, it's really. They were like gendarme. You yeah. know, and I didn't realize it. And they put me in the jail. And I'm in the, the cell with this guy. And uh, he's like this 85-year-old guy. Just me and him. And he keeps looking at me, going, that boom, that boom, that boom, that right in my face. And I was scared of the guy. And I, I said to the guard, hey, this guy belongs in the psych ward. And the, the, the guard called me over and said, uh, Major, you are in the psych ward. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> it made me wish uh, I knew how to play an instrument, is my point. <laughs> that was like, a, what, did you, you come from a musical family? Um, I don't know. I think, you know, my mom had a piano around. I think she always wanted me to play the piano. So I had an instruments around. She can kind of get around on it. Um, there was a guitar. I mean, not really. It wasn't. It was something I think I just picked up because Smart. I started getting into bands and stuff when I was, you know, ten or eleven. It's I smart knew. to do because sports is. A, I mean, unless you become him, like you're 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 insanely lucky and, and talented, and you become a pro. Sports is such a waste of time. I just wasted my time. <laughs> I wasted my time playing. You baseball. don't think that teams? I wasted my time. You I much rather about... play the guitar like him. I really would. I really would. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's a great But, you know, if it's ability. such a small percentage of either of those things that, like, actually break through anyways. Yeah, that's true. You know? I right, mean, how so. many times? I mean, it's, it's like with anything. I mean, how many but times still are ca- you? But casually, though. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. You can't, I can't casually go out and, you know, field ground balls right Yeah, now. that's right. I'd love to have a guitar. <laughs> and every once in a while, we have to breakfast, strum it. Maybe that'll take my mind yeah. off doing heroin. So you were <laughs> hopefully I don't <laughs> it might add to not it. in our case <laughs> you were a big skateboarder right you were a big yeah, skateboarder and, and listening stuff. to you know that type of music well, that genre I mean the thing is is like ramps and yeah I love that John puts cramp. music in a box he tends to do that I don't do that I mean the thing is with <laughs> with skateboarding is like you know when I when I was watching skate videos and stuff I mean Every single skater had a different song, so it was like rap one minute, it was jazz the next minute. It was What's a classic skate rock. video? Like skaters will make like a reel yeah, of themselves, like a, or no, it'll be like a a company will put out a video of well, their entire all the team, all the sponsored people. Right? Okay. You know. Now, were you good enough to have that happen? Hell no. No. <laughs> that's why. I, that's why I worked for the skate company. I drew skateboard graphics and stuff. Oh, yeah. you did. Oh, okay. That's yeah, a great was, gig, right? There. It is. It is. It's cool. I mean, I think you know that's what sort of pushed me away from the idea of pursuing music as a serious thing early on in life it was i mean it, it happened now but it was out of it was because it's an accident you know like i i had a fine career drawing t-shirt graphics and so it was cool i was drinking beer with my friends and going skateboarding after work or whatever and that was fine and then i started recording music and and you know playing shows and then that kind of just took off and i was kind of given the option to go on tour for a month and you know i had to quit my job and you know make that decision well then the label that was interested in you you ended up uh joining yeah. right and now you're like an executive well i partnered up with them it's me and um two guys nate nelson and jamie strong who jamie's over there hanging out oh wait, so you're part uh, of the problem and the solution <laughs> well you know you, <laughs> why not join them why not put, join them yeah you got to put money in the bank yeah, somehow be- become an executive why not now when you write music, we use the word executive very loosely <laughs> <laughs> when you write music do you use a piano or a guitar 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 yeah, yeah. A guitar. yeah. Your guitar uh, is that a is that a Black Beauty? Is that the I mean, it's yeah, Les Paul but, yeah, Custom. Yeah, Les Paul Custom. I, I, but I put the Bigsby on there. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Did now what's, what's a with Bigsby? the Bigsby? It's, it's the, the whammy. Oh, the whammy. Yeah. We just did that at the same time. I'll yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. I'll just pretend to know what a whammy is now. Yeah. 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 What, so what's with the text? Can we explain it with another thing <laughs> that we need to explain. Yeah, it's a whammy. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah. yeah. What's with the text? Uh, it was my. That's my cowboy name. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great cowboy. Yeah. You know? yeah. Kind of hacky, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the easy way out. Yeah. What's your cowboy name? Tex? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, now, uh, d- d- is it a good band to be with? Are they jealous that you're the lead singer? <laughs> <laughs> Ask them. I don't know. Do you guys have aspirations to take over the band, maybe? No. Like pull a no. Dave Grohl and wow. get, to- no, get together with his wife and kill him? Secret coup mountain. <laughs> it's like that No Doubt music video from the 90s. Uh-huh. <laughs> How old are you? Me, 32. Oh, wow, you look young, man. Jeez. 
That's because I'm half Filipino. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, we have some half Filipino Asian, Asian like blood that. in there. That's true. Hmm. Yeah, my 10-year-old uh, half Filipino kid who's illegitimate, he looks very young. <laughs> uh, lives in Vegas with his mom. She's chubby as well. Uh, but so, now what's coming up next, guys? Where, what's the next gig? Um, the next gig is in uh, Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Yeah, on cool. the pier. Cool, yeah, nice. That sounds great. It should great. be really cool. And then uh, you're on the road right now, actively out on the road. We just finished up about four months of touring. Wow. All right. So, so tired. We, we flew in from um, France or something. Or Spain, I don't even remember it, but so you're gonna go wow. to, you're gonna go so to Santa you guys, Monica. You toured Europe. You're gonna go to Santa Monica and then and then relax. I don't relax know. for a few weeks and then go back out to Europe and then wow. then, then venture back in in America and do the whole thing. It sounds like Europe is kind of like the mainstay for for you guys. You guys are hitting it up quite a bit. Is I mean, that? Why I mean, not, do you man. feel like scratch. we're making the rounds? We gotta, you know, put, you know. I don't know. We got bills to pay. Yeah, do you, do exactly. you feel like do you, is is your music uh, is there a difference in like crowd size? I don't know, like popularity of your music. Do people you know over there tend to sing along? I mean, do you have like a following I in mean, Europe you, at this point? I mean, definitely we we do. Yeah, for sure. Wow. But you, you, it's it's weird the variance because you know the countries are so close together. So geographically, you're in one country that's loving you. One yeah. day, and then you just pop over the border to another country, and there it's their first time seeing. Like, you. how does that right. possible? It's so funny that happens you know? in Europe. Yeah. Uh, but again, it's a totally different country. Ohio to Pennsylvania here is a totally different world over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it is. It's odd, yeah. you know. But yeah. It's bizarre. I mean, you know, when when we're telling people we're on tour, and we're like, oh yeah, you know, today's going to be a long drive. We got four hours, and I'm like, what? We do <laughs> like eight, twelve hour drives in, in America. Like I that's know. like. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, that's a light tour day for us. That's a lot, too, because you're lugging equipment again as a comedian. I have it so easy compared to this guy. I just need a clean shirt and a mic that works. You guys have equipment. You're like, you know, your voice has got to sound good. You, you know, you got to be on top of your game. And I mail it in a lot, quite often. That's so, do, <laughs> so do I. Yeah. <laughs> do you? Well, if you play guitar that good, I bet you can. Like, you know. And you got great people backing you up. Well, we, we're going to Santa Monica on the pier. And then how do we follow you on Twitter and everything? Um... On Twitter, it's just Hani El Khatib. Right. On Instagram, is Hani El Khatib. That's where all the weird stuff happens. HaniElKhatib.com. Just search that. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, good luck with everything, and uh, come back again. Yeah. We love to. We love, love to. to. We love to hang out. Hani El Khatib. And again, the album is Head in the Dirt. And uh, we'll be back after these words.